Welcome to the California Immunization Registry training video, Generating Benchmark and Assessment Reports. Benchmark and Assessment Report Training Objectives. Explanation of the benefits and reasons to run a benchmark or assessment report in care. Demonstration of how to set up a benchmark or assessment report. Demonstration of how to pull the benchmark report into a user-friendly report an in-depth explanation of each table within the assessment report. The benchmark report allows care end users to retrieve a list and count of patients who have met an immunization benchmark or predefined series of benchmarks. This is helpful for assessing a specific age range or birth date range of patients for your organization. These results can also help forecast the number of vaccinations your organization needs to administer, providing you with more accurate numbers to place vaccine orders. Before we start setting up our benchmark criteria, it is important we review patient status. When it comes to reports in care, your organization's active patient population will be included in the results. Active patients are those who are routinely receiving care from your organization. Inactive patients are no longer being treated by your organization. The only way to inactivate patients in care is to update the status field located in the organization information section of the patient's demographic page. If you fail to inactivate patients, they will continue to display in the results of your organization level reports. To generate a benchmark report, click on the Benchmark Report link under the Reports section of the menu panel. To generate a benchmark report, follow these steps. Step 1. Select the patient population to be assessed by clicking on All Patients Associated with your organization's name to view immunization data on all active patients associated with your organization. Step 2. Select patients who did or did not meet the benchmark. Choose patients who did not meet the benchmark to return a list of patients who did not meet the benchmarks defined in the table. Or choose patients who did meet the benchmark to return a list of patients who did meet the benchmarks defined in the table or choose all patients to return a list of all patients regardless of their benchmark status. For this example, we will select the option for all patients. Step 3. Select age or birth date range. Less than or equal to 72 months old. Choose this option to return all patients who are 72 months old or younger or choose birth date range to return all patients with birth dates between any earliest birth date and latest birth date you entered. If desired, use the calendar icons beside each date field to select the dates. Age range. Choose this option to enter the age range. Enter the youngest age in the first field, then use the drop-down list to choose days, months, or years. Step 4. Options for Benchmarking Standard Assessment. This option will return all active patients who meet your age range or birth date range criteria. Assess patients with sufficient refusal history is covered. This option will return a benchmark report that counts patients with sufficient refusal comments as being up to date. Using this criteria removes children with refusals from any follow-up list. For this example, we will be running a standard assessment. Step 5. Select Evaluation Date. No immunizations administered after the evaluation date will be included in the report. Step 6. Select the benchmark or benchmarks to be used on the report. To select one or more single vaccine benchmarks within a single row, click the box where the vaccine and the number of the months intersect. 
To select all benchmarks in a row, you may click on the first box in the row that indicates at appropriate number of months. For this example, the at three months benchmark will be used. To select the at three months benchmark, simply click once in the at three months cell. After doing this, the entire row will be highlighted. To further customize the benchmark report, users can click on individual cells to remove them from a row of selected benchmarks. To do this, simply click once on the vaccine, which would be removed from the results. To add the vaccine back into the benchmark, click once on the cell to highlight it again. To select benchmarks in a predefined series, select one of the 431, 43133, or 431331 combinations at the bottom of the table. After completing all benchmark report criteria, click the Generate button. The benchmark report status page will provide users with an update on the progress of the benchmark report. Click on Refresh to update the status of the report generation. When the benchmark report is complete, it will say Done under the Status column, and there will be a hyperlink called Benchmark under the Report Type column. To view the benchmark results, click on the Benchmark hyperlink. The benchmark report results are now available in CARE and also available as a text, spreadsheet, and PDF reports. Once we are done reviewing the results in CARE, we will generate this information into a user-friendly PDF report that can either be printed or saved to your computer. In the next section of the results, CARE displays the applicable report number, identifies the date the report was run, the user who generated the report, and the organization in use. CARE also displays the filter conditions used for this report. Each aspect of the benchmark criteria is provided for review and will print on the top of the benchmark PDF report. The benchmark results are displayed at the bottom of the page. Each patient's data is displayed in their own row of information. The patient's first name, last name, birth date, primary phone, cell phone, and address are all included in the results if they have been entered into CARE. To the right of this information, CARE identifies which immunization benchmarks were met by each patient. In the example, the th at three month benchmarks were used. Underneath each immunization listed is the number of that particular immunization that were required by three months of age. If the patient successfully met an immunization benchmark, a Y will be displayed. If the patient did not meet a particular benchmark, an N will be displayed. To view these results in a user-friendly report, click on the link Display as a PDF. All benchmark results, including filter conditions used for this report, are displayed. To save this report, click the Save icon in the Adobe toolbar. Click OK in the Save dialog box. To return to the Benchmark Results page, press the Back button on your browser. The Assessment Report can be helpful when assessing your organization's data for quality assurance purposes. The Assessment Report feature in CARE compiles an organization's immunization data into a useful format for patient populations under six years of age. As with the benchmark report, it is vital to inactivate patients no longer in your care and to be up to date with immunization entry. To generate an assessment report from the CARE homepage, click on Assessment Report from the menu panel. Step 1. Select the patient population to be assessed by clicking on all patients associated with your organization's name to view immunization data on all active patients associated with your organization. Step 2. Select age or birth date range. Less than or equal to 72 months old. 
choose this option to return all patients who are 72 months or younger. Birth date range. Choose this option to enter a range of birth dates. Enter the earliest birth date in the first field and the latest birth date in the second field that you wish to be included in the report, or use the calendar icons beside each field to enter the dates. Age range. Choose this option to enter the age range. Enter the youngest age in the first field, then use the drop-down list to choose days, months, or years. Remember, this report is only available for populations under 6. For this example, we will use the age range of 12 months to 36 months. Step 4, Options for Benchmarking. Standard Assessment. This option will provide your active patient population that has met your age or birth date range criteria. Assess patients with sufficient refusal history as covered. This option will return an assessment report that counts patients with sufficient refusal comments as being up to date. For this example, we will run a standard assessment. Step 5, Select Evaluation Date. No immunizations administered after the evaluation date will be included in the report. For this example, the evaluation date is September 19, 2016. After completing the criteria page, click on Generate. On the Assessment Report Status page, notice that there are multiple output options generated. To view the assessment report, click on the hyperlink under the Job Name Evaluation Date section of the status page. The assessment report in CARE includes eight tables, all providing useful information on how well your organization is meeting the immunization needs of your patient population. On the top of the report, notice it will clearly identify your organization, the evaluation date, and the date the report was run. Table 1 provides the number of patients that were analyzed for each age group that met the report criteria. Age group. This column groups the age ranges for the evaluation. Records analyzed. This column displays the gross count of all records meeting the criteria of your assessment report. Inactive. This column displays the count of selected patients within the records analyzed that are not active to your organization. Records meeting criteria. This column displays the net count of all records meeting the criteria of your assessment report after inactive patients have been subtracted. Table 2 provides immunization percentages for patients who were up to date as of the evaluation date and for those patients who received immunizations as of the date the report was run. Age in months. This column identifies the benchmark ages within the stated age range that will be used to analyze patient immunization status. Up to date. The up to date column indicates the percentage of patients who receive the expected number of shots by each benchmark age. Late. The late up to date considers patients that receive the expected number of shots by the date the report was run. For additional information on the up-to-date and how CARE calculates the percentages, please review the information provided underneath Table 2. Table 3. The age-specific immunization benchmarks table shows how many vaccine doses a patient should have to meet the up-to-date benchmark. It is grouped by the patient's age in months. This chart is used to create the assessment of patients meeting age-specific benchmark table below. Table 4, Assessment of Patients Meeting Age-Specific Benchmarks. Up-to-date age. This column groups the patients by their maximum age using the evaluation date. Vaccine columns. These seven columns display the count of patients who have met the up-to-date by age benchmark for each vaccine series. Total meeting age criteria. 
This column gives a total of all the patients who are at least the age listed under up-to-date age. This value is the denominator used to calculate the percent coverage. However, the 72 months up-to-date age category includes patients from 48 to 72 months of age, not 72 months of age. Percent coverage. This column displays the percentage of patients meeting all up-to-date vaccine benchmarks for the age criteria. The numerator is not seen, but can be calculated by taking the percent coverage and multiplying the total meeting age criteria. Table 5, children who could have been brought up to date with additional immunizations. For each table, the first row displays the age range of the patients examined in the table. The next four rows list the number of vaccines needed by the patient to be up to date. In the second column, the first row is a total number of patients for each age range who are behind schedule for four or fewer vaccinations. The next four rows displays the total number of patients for each age group who needed additional vaccinations to be up to date. The final column shows the first row displaying the percent of all patients for each age range who are behind for four or fewer vaccines. And then the next four rows displays within the column display a percentage of patients for each age group who need additional vaccinations to be up to date. Table six. Children who got a late start or have been dropped off schedule after a good start. Late start rates. The values in column three of the late start rates now are the percentages of patients within the age group listed in column four who have not received the first DTAP dose by three months of age. Drop off rates. The drop off rates section of the chart shows the percentage of patients column three in various age groups, column two, who have not gone beyond the 12 or 24 month status, column four, in their immunizations. Immunization status is calculated using the formula outlined at the bottom of the chart. Table seven, the hep B chart gives the number and percentages of patients who did not receive a birth dose of the hep B vaccination and who did not complete the three dose series. Patients evaluated are between 6 and 72 months old and have at least one immunization in care. Table 8, Missed Opportunities Assessment. The Missed Opportunity Assessment chart identifies the total number of patients that were assessed in each age group. The Patient Not Up to Date column identifies the count and percentage of patients in each age group that are not up to date with immunizations. The Missed Opportunity on Last Visit column identifies the numbers of patients in each age group that missed an opportunity to receive immunizations on their last immunization visit. CARE will also generate the Missed Opportunities Assessment Report, which lists all of your organization's patients who missed opportunities to be vaccinated. This report lists the patient's first and last names, birth date, and date of each missed opportunity by vaccine group. This report can be found on the Check Assessment Report page. Helpful Reminders The benchmark report allows care users to retrieve a list and count of active patients who have met an immunization benchmark or a predefined series of benchmarks. By selecting the option for all patients regardless of whether they met the benchmark or not, the results will give you a percentage of patients that did meet the benchmark selected. Remember, in order for this report to accurately reflect your patient's immunization needs, you must inactivate patients that your organization is no longer treating and be up to date with your data entry. An assessment report provides a comprehensive analysis of an organization's immunization status. Utilize the assessment report for assessing your organization's data for quality assurance purposes. For additional care support, you can reference the CARE user manual located under the Forms tab on the CARE login page at the URL on the screen. Or you can contact the CARE Help Desk by phone at 800-578-7889 or send an email to care helpdesk at 
cdph.ca.gov.